What's up YouTube, I'm just another guy and welcome to the Welsh Way here with Aberwith Swift Town. So we're in the Champions League, first knockout round, very very big game, of course our first ever time getting into the Champions League considering it's the first time we've ever won the Welsh Premier League last season. So we face Unenes in the first qualifying phase and I think we can have an easy chance of progressing here, Luxembourg team, semi-professional, you know, nothing too great, definitely a team we can beat. Uh, but the second round, if we qualify, that is. But I think the second round will be a lot more difficult, of course. Dynamo, Croatian team, you know, probably the best Croatian team. League winners from last season. It'll be an absolutely monster task to try and beat them. But of course, we're going to take every hurdle as it comes. So the first qualifying phase is where we're going to spend all our attention to. And it's Junez, Esk, whatever that is. I think they're a French team in Luxembourg. So, well, a, you know, a French speaking part of Luxembourg with a French name. So, transfer news, we'll go into that very, very quickly. Only a little bit to talk about. Uh, so one guy in was one guy out was Hughes. Sorry, goalkeeping coach slash goalkeeper ended up releasing him. Didn't think he was good enough. First guy in centre mid with Darius Waters. Overall, not a bad player. Twenty one years of age. You know, got a little bit of time left to develop in him. Leading Walsh Premier League um, midfielder, of course, with Barry Morgan now retired. We need another guy to come in. So that's what Waters did. And the last guy to bring in was Max Penk, left back. Although I kind of regret this signing. His report isn't too great. Uh, the only reason I've looked at a left back and I'm still currently looking for a, a world class or at least, you know, a Walsh Premier League leading left back is because Pren and Noble let me down so many times last season. I really wanted to bring someone better in. Penk, you know, probably isn't that player, but he's 22. He's still got two years really left of, you know, a lot of development left in him. So, uh, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and loan him out. He's currently listed for loan. No one has come up yet, but I'm hoping he can go out and get first team football elsewhere. Hopefully in the Premier League as well. Um, so he can get himself, you know, that experience he needs and helps his attributes rise a little bit more. So that is it, and we go into this game today at home at the Scarlets, which is Lanelli's rugby team, I believe, home stadium. Uh, so, um, <coughs> very, very big game. So this is the team we're going to go out with. We're going to play a 4 4 2 with Wilson in goal, Connolly, Sinnott, Hamilton Davis, and Pren. Um, Lewis Pren, that is. Gary Pren, Gar Gary Pren? Garen, I don't, I don't really know how to say that. I'm really sorry about that. But Garen Pren, I think it is. Venables, Waters, Davis, Davis, sorry, on the left, and Hislop and O'Neill up front. It's so pretty much the same team what you would expect from last season, with the exception of the centre mid, which Woods Morgan is now Waters. So I'm expecting an easy progression here. Two guys will be getting numbers today, which is Waters and Samir James, who is a 15-year-old centre midfielder. Must have some kind of Asian descent or Asian background, because Samir is pretty, I think it's an Asian, Asian name, like a Muslim name. I, I may be completely wrong with that. This guy seems pretty good though, 15 years of age, Port is very, very nice indeed. One star currently, five star potential, so he'll be in and around the team uh, this season, so I actually want to give him 25. So, let's go out there. Very, very big match. Of course, like I said, would expect qu qu um, progression through to the next round. Uh, we are lining up against the 4-4-2 as well. Uh, so let's see what they say here. Abel Swift know what that a win would set up a clash with Dynamo in the second qualifying phase. Uh, Abel Swift need to progress beyond the current stage in order to live up to the minimum expectation in this season's Champions League. So we don't really want our league ranking going down by losing to a team from Luxembourg. Uh, we are going in there knowing that we are odds on favourite. Uh, we are going out there knowing that, you know, I feel we have the quality of player that is good enough for them. You know, we did very well in Europa League last season qualifying past the first round, which was where we were expected to, you know, maybe fall up under the first hurdle uh, this season. Uh, I'd love to make, you know, represent Wales on a bigger stage in just the first qualifying phase. Second qualifying phase against the Croatian team would be absolutely immense. You know, last season, Balak got knocked out of this competition in the first round. And, um, you know, I want to be doing better than that. I want to be showing that the Welsh football is a decent standard, you know, it is able to at least beat a couple of minor nations of footballing standards. So, very big game today. Uh, we'll be doing these um, two legs in one. I don't think I mentioned that earlier on, sorry. Both of these legs will be done in one episode. I will be doing my highlights from now on in key, which is what this one is, I believe. I've got this in key, yeah. Actually, no, this is extended. As I say, it seems like a little bit too many highlights. But we'll be doing all my games in key from now on, just so I can pump through them a little bit quicker. And um, just so you guys can see like this in all in one episode, so you can see these two legs in one. So... 
That's the only reason, only real reason I'm thinking behind that. You may, you know, feel free to comment below as we actually score here as Davis scores. Completely talking over that. My bad, not really commentating on the game. As Prem whips this one in from the right and Davis slots it home very, very nicely. Look at that. Prem beating, you know, really troubling the left back from the other team. Lovely cross in. O'Neill left it. Maybe it was a little bit of a dummy. Straight to Davis who taps it home. Great goal. 1 0. You know, that, that should pretty much pull us on our way now to qualifying out of this group. Now this group's already out of this phase, so anyway, like I said, I want to put these in key so I can get this basically two episode, two games in one episode for you without it dragging on for about 30, 40 minutes. So that's the thinking there. This is a chance here, and Jeunez have actually scored. Juan Tamison, Tamisini, I, I don't, Thomas, Tomianis, or whatever, <laughs> don't ever that guy's name. Don't keep trying to butcher it. One one, and the away goal has been scored. That's not ideal. Defensive mistakes as well. You know what? I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm not happy. That may seem quite harsh, but I'm not happy with the fact that we are one-one against the team that you know I'd expect us to beat. You know, Luxembourg and Wales. You think of the two nations in terms of football, and you'd say Wales definitely have the quality to beat them. You know, even without wow, there's a goal by his slot. Wow, wow, I'm trying to talk on it again. Talking over the goal, not commentating enough. Davies with a beautiful crossing from the left. Hislop is there to cross this one in. Like, but anyway. Uh, you can see the goal there yet again. You know, Wells, even without their maybe, maybe massive stars or so-called big players like, you know, Ramsey and Bale, I'd still consider them, you know, out of, out of, in a different league than Luxembourg in terms of football. So I don't see why the footballing leagues can't represent that as well. Here is Hislop through on goal. Awful effort, apparently, and wasn't too great one-on-one, -on -one, but it was on a half volley. So, you know, that's, that's been quite harsh. To say that, you know, that was poor. Fitness is going to be a real issue here because we haven't really had much of a preseason. Uh, we're going to bring Mark... Oh, actually, we're going to bring Eddie Hislop on. And we're going to bring off Davis and bring on... Oh, not that one. We're going to bring on Price. Youngster Price, I think 16 years of age. Played a bit last season since coming in from the youth intake. Um, I think got a couple of assists, actually. I think I ended up with... Oh, wow, as they've scored a set piece. That is very poor. Two... Away goals now conceded. Whew, we're leaving ourselves a hell of a task here. Hopefully we can get a third. Just before the end of the game, we're going to actually go control. Look to control the rest of this match. That's a very poor throw, but we actually create a chance here. Hislop plays it back to Venables. Anyway, back to Price. Like I say, coming to the team last season. Got a few assists in his you know, league and cup matches that he played in. So overall, I think he's a very good player and one for the future. Is Pren here... Beating a few players and what an absolutely wonderful solo effort from Prem. That is pure class there out of this league of football. You know, beating two players one on one with a keeper. Pyle drives it home. Keeper is left hopeless. Very, very nice indeed. We're going to go back to counter. Going to look to absorb any pressure that they try to throw at us to get their third away goal. And if we concede the third, I really doubt that we will qualify because Three away goals is absolutely crazy to concede and still progress through. As O'Neill plays the ball to Pren and Pren now one on with the keeper and fires this one home. You know, identical strike to finish the move like his first goal. Second goal of the game for him, four for us, and I think this puts us high and dry. Uh, we'll have to still perform very well away from home, but a two goal gap probably is enough to see us progress through. And maybe actually there is a chance for another goal here. Price down the left. Troubling his marker. Beats him. Plays it into O'Neill with an absolutely abysmal shot. Really should have done a lot better. Considering here how much space he had and where he was positioned and things like that. They have a set piece. Try creating a third away goal from them. That is a very poor crossing. And that will surely be the end of the game. Uh, which it is. Very, very nice game indeed. You know, I think the half-time team top definitely helped. You know, okay, it could have been a little harsh. Um, you know, saying, you know, go out there and perform a lot better when they weren't exactly playing too bad, but very good game indeed. So I'll see you back in a second, guys, with the second leg. So, see you then. Alright, guys, so here we are for the second leg, and nothing is actually going to change. Uh, one, the only actual change to the, the squad itself is on the bench, in which Simeon Smith, 16 years of age, coming in from the youth intake last season, Gets his debut and chance uh, with an appearance on the bench. That is because um, 
a transfer has gone out, I believe, actually. Yep, Jordan Francombe, he's gone to Ryle, 19 years of age. We signed him, you know, two years back. Signed him as a player, you know, that we'd slowly rotate into the team. We were slowly rotating, but with the quality of youth players we managed to bring in, I found him, you know, sort of falling below the bar of, you know, players that we really needed at the side. So, Simeon Smith comes in as the other centre-back, and it just seems Steve, Wayne, Kendrick, a chance to... A whiner, you say, uh, just a chance to get back into the team since he dropped out of favour a bit last season and found himself in the reserves. So, yeah, let's go into this game. We're going to have to give him a number, Smith, of course, having never played for us before. Um, we'll be bold, we'll be ambitious, and we'll give him number four. You know, pretty much say, you know, you have a chance to be in this team in the future if you can perform. Here's the number four to prove it. It's a first team number. So they're actually going out with a 5-3-2. Quite strange considering they played a 4-4-2 and did relatively well against us. So I doubt they think they can overcome this four goal deficit, the two goal deficit, sorry. And I'm guessing they just feel to go out there and try and keep it, you know, as a two goal deficit. So that way they can at least walk away with this game, Jeunesse, and go, you know, we played well in this game. We kept a clean sheet. And, you know, the Bella team won over the two legs, which... Hopefully, we do. <laughs> but this is a first chance five minutes into the game, and they have a real threatening, at least, attack. They're building up slowly is good tackle from Hamilton Davis, and this could actually be our chance now if he could only find O'Neill. But the ball's come back to a blue shirt, and we have another chance to build it up. Tries finding his stop and can't. Don't know what that guy was doing there. He was sliding all on the floor. This is their chance. They've actually taken the lead. Quite a surprise and shock lead. 1-0 up they go. Jeunesse with a Barbion Baboni. Baboni goal. We actually need to get an away goal. Hopefully very, very soon. Because they did score two. If you can remember for away from home, of course. Well, what do you mean if you can remember? It was just a few seconds ago for you. Uh, but... Yeah, we definitely need to try and at least get two away goals. So that way they have no advantage on us there. As Hislop plays the ball back to... I couldn't actually see that name there. And Pren on the right, though. <laughs> it's brought down and gets a penalty. Hislop will step up and hopefully convert this. Which he does. Hislop, cool, karma collected. The natural born goal scorer that we know he is. Scores, makes it 1-1 on the day. But gets a very vital away goal. Uh, well, what could be very vital away goal come the end of the game. And also puts our two-goal aggregate lead back intact. So... Penalty, it looked like a penalty to me. You know, Prem was brought down in the box, didn't get a ball to defender, and very calmly taken by Hislop, and very beautifully taken as well. Top corner, no keeper in the world is going to be able to save that. As so we're building up slowly again, it's coming down the right with Prem. Plays it into O'Neill. We're taking our time, we're building up the play relatively slowly, which is what I like to see. I like to gain possession as Hislop is through. Hislop scores yet again. A ball out of nowhere, really. Slices the defence. Hits up with a beautiful run to get the ball. Well seen by the passer as well. I think it was Connolly, or was it, or Pren? It was actually Connolly. You know, beautiful run. Well seen pass. The fact that you could see that all the way over there. And nice shot. Straight to keeper. Keeper could have done, or probably should have done a lot better. And he'll probably be disappointed with that himself. Nice goal. Two away goals. It's now been covered as Hamilton Davis gets in on the act as well. 3-1 now on ag aggregate. I don't think that five of defenders helped them in any way, shape, or form because they've ended up conceding more than they did at home. You know, just one less than they've done at, um, at ho away from home as they've done at home. And this looks like it could be a riot from us. Seven three on aggregate. That is amazing scoreline. We're on the attack yet again. His lop is through yet again, and oh God, the back of the net has been hit yet again. They've conceded the exact same amount of goals home and away now. A change of formation definitely didn't help, and in fact, they probably look a little bit more threatening, and I had a little bit more control with the 4-4-2, so... Poor management there to change the tactic, and a hat-trick in his slop. The first hat-trick of the Champions League this season, probably. I didn't check the other games out. There's Davis down the left, trying to add more, trying to really embarrass this Luxembourg team. Ball comes in, it bounces around a little... Waters is there, Venables with a long shot, very good save by the keeper, very good long shot as well by Venables, it was going on target, it had to be saved. Waters to Davis now, again the wings are becoming a very vital part of our build up play, we're stretching the team out very far as Waters is there, plays it across to Pren with an absolutely beautiful volley, that is amazing goal, that is an absolutely 
worldy of a goal. The cross itself is very, very nice, but the finish, the fact that he took that on the volley with a player very close to him, beautiful height as well. Ugh, 5-1, 9-3 on aggregate. This is absolutely getting embarrassing. And at one point in the, of course, in the last leg, it looked like they could really come out. Uh, they looked like they could really, you know, beat us that 2-2. All right, sorry about that. It was an interruption there, guys. But we'll go, jump straight back into this. So, Team Talk, you know, might be winning, but don't let your performance levels drop. Surprised some people took that negatively, really. You know, I, as a player, I wouldn't really take that badly. I'd be like, you know, yeah, let's go out there and absolutely demolish this team. Got another five goals and make it, was it 14-3 on aggregate? <laughs> I mean, why not? Uh, we're going to make some changes, though, definitely. Hamilton Davis picked up a slight knock. We'll bring on Smith for his debut in the Champions League. Well, a hell of a time to make a debut. Bring on Price yet again, like we did last game, and I would like to take Ryadin Davis off, but don't really have the player to. So I think we'll just take off. We'll take off Hislop. He's got his hat trick. We'll bring on his brother. You know, if if he hadn't got his hat trick, I would have kept him on. But he's got three. I mean, I doubt he really get me another three to get that achievement to get six goals. But <laughs> so I might as well just bring on another player. Rest him up for, of course, which will be the second uh, qualifying phase matches. Eddie Hislop scores as well. 10-3 on aggregate. We managed to get into them double figures. Absolutely amazing scoreline. Definitely didn't see this coming after the first leg. I expected a tight match. You know, I expected them to keep it very, very tight. The fact that they took the lead as well, you know, uh, it's just, you know, I'm surprised. Eddie Hislop. Oh, what a goal by Walters. Two goals in two minutes. Absolutely beautiful. 7-1 on aggregate. Absolutely amazing. So, Eddie, I don't really know what else to do. You know, if I could, I'd make more substitutes, take the whole team off and just rest them up for the next game against Dynamo. But then again, we're gonna, looks like we're going to get more as prices through here and... Oh, Good save from the keeper, and unlucky there from Price not to go in. Ball comes in, Eddie Hislop can't find it in there, you know. Oh. Eddie Hislop getting on the score sheet, trying to go for a hat-trick in his short time on the pitch. Just to show his brother, anything you can do, I can match you. <laughs> you know, I'm as good as you're my brother. Let me play equally as much. And maybe someday in the future there will be uh, the Hislops up front together. If there's a good run of form, of course, in the upcoming season, that is a distinct possibility that will happen. Davis down the left. Absolutely causing more mayhem as he's on all game. Long as Eddie Hislop is with another chance. Good save from the keeper though. Look at that. All greens in the body language. This will do them absolutely incredible going into the leg against Dynamo. You know, high morale will help you against the bigger teams. Definitely, you know, just because the team are put, uh, you know, in a happier mood. Happy players equal good players. Connolly, maybe even go for an 8th here today. You know, we're playing it around a little bit. Venables with an absolute scream of a shot. You deserve that celebration there. You know, you can stand with your chest out. Be proud. That is an amazing strike. 12-3 on aggregate. 8-1 on the day. This isn't your way from home match. We won 8-1. At home, we only won 4-2. 8-1. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Um, I don't think we're going to be playing 4-4-2 though in this Dynamo match. I've already saw that attack. I think we're going to play 4-5-1. You know, the sort of like the variation I played last game, um, last season against Ghent. I'll play that again uh, in this game against Dynamo as yet again another go. Oh, oh, nil this time. Two goals in 90 minutes. 13-3 on aggregate. 9-1 in this match alone. You know, uh, the home game was definitely poor from our point of view. Uh, you know, we shouldn't have let them score two goals against us. We should have scored a lot more, a lot more, and we've definitely demonstrated a difference in class today between the Welsh standard of football and the Luxembourg standard of football. Nine one on nine one on the day, sorry. Thirteen two, thirteen three on aggregate. I don't know where I got that two from. You know, that Pren with the top goal scorer in the competition with three goals. So we're going to leave the match, and we're going to show you, you know, that we have got Dynamo in the next game. So we win there, rise to the challenge, and we rise to see off. Hislop cream of the crop. Smith made with a professional debut. You know, what a time to make it. Local born youngster pushing through to the first team ranks. And we'll do this in a second. So, here we go. We are drawn to Tynamo. The, the first leg we played at home in, uh, Mas, Mas, Manx, Maskit. Ah, oh, I cannot say that. Sorry. Let me stare at it for a bit. 
Max keep no I, that didn't help. <laughs> okay. So we'll be playing our Dynamo though or first leg away from home. This is a tactic I will be going into the game with, uh, which is a four five one. Four five one pretty much the same, you know, counterbalanced uh team instructions actually need to be added, which are to retain position, lower tempo, cast the opponent, get stuck in, stick to positions, and also look to hit. Uh actually no, I'll do it. That'll be it, and also player instructions will need to be added, but I'll do the stuff all off camera. Uh, but this will be the tactic we're going to go out and play with. Hopefully we can do well, hopefully we can, you know, stay tight in the first leg, and maybe in the home leg I'll play with 4-4-2 and go out there with a little bit more creative freedom, a little bit more, you know, of a chance, a little bit more positively. So next time you will see me back will be the 15th, which will be about 9, 7 a week. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't do that in my head, uh, which is a week away. So until then guys, until next time, peace out.